Welcome to the News at 6, I'm Shira Matsuzawa. Well, spring is here and with it comes nice weather and longer days. Great perks, right? But the conditions are also great for door to door sales. It is a more traditional sales approach, but the Treasure Valley still sees plenty of operations that go door to door to try and sell their goods and services. But did you know they need special licenses in many areas to conduct their work legally? Our Joe Paris spoke with Boise Police about things to keep an eye on. But Joe, let's go back to the licensing aspect. How does that all work? Well, Sheer in places like Boise, Meridian, Eagle, and Nampa, salespeople that go to door they actually need a city issued license. The idea with the licenses is to make sure that people going door to door are legit and selling trustworthy products and services. And if there is an issue, the city can then look up a vendor and they can advise the community about any issues. But there comes a unique pressure with the scenario of someone showing up on your house unannounced trying to sell you something. So Boise Police has this reminder for you. We just tell people first and foremost, if you don't want to interact with them, you don't have to. Once they come and ring your doorbell, knock on your door, you don't have to answer your door. We see a lot of people will put up no solicitation signs kind of as that, that warning before they get up there to avoid that door knock or that doorbell. Uh, you don't have to invite them into your house. We encourage you not to invite them into your house. And so keep that door open. If you have a screen door, keep that shut. And so you can maintain that kind of safe barrier and not let them inside your house because we have heard horrible stories of people going inside of houses. You may be wondering what about Girl Scouts or Boy Scouts or maybe even a religious group? Well, you don't need a license like that. There are some exceptions to those special charity groups. And of course, the Girl Scouts, you don't need a license to be a Girl Scout and sell those great cookies. But the city of Boise tells me even if a solicitor is licensed, they are required to be honest about who they work for. You have a right not to feel threatened in your own home. And that's important to the city of Boise. They want people to feel not threatened by people. You also may send a complaint about an overly aggressive license to solicitor, the Boise City Clerk's Office, and Shira, again, some great reminders as people start going door to door again. If you see someone outside and you're not comfortable, just don't go to the door. All right, a lot of good tips there. Thanks, Joe.